Did I get tased? Hello, Romas. This is Romy here. Welcome back to Color X Malice. We are here at the shooting range. Hopefully, my girl is done practicing so we can go home or something. Before I knew it, an hour had passed. And then all my shots had formed a tight grouping in the center. I let out a deep sigh. What was that, Psyche? Some fun shooting as expected. Whoa! Surprised by the sudden voice behind me, I spun around startled. I'm not startled at shooting a pistol, but someone sneaking up behind me scares me. Psyche, you still haven't left. I got bogged down with work. I figured I'd step out for a breather and I saw that you were here. Oh, um, were you watching this whole time? You should have said something. You're concentrating pretty hard, so I didn't want to interrupt. Besides, I was enjoying it. <laughs> huh? Like I like watching you shoot. It helps me relax. It's cathartic. Cathartic? I think, I guess. What the heck? Should I be happy to hear that? <laughs> I don't think so. Of course. It's a compliment. I respect you. I respect that you're a hard worker and that you try and prove yourself for the future. Where is this suddenly coming from? You won't get anything out of flattering me. Wow, my girl is sassy. He's always confident, so something fell off. Psyche let out a small chuckle at my attempt to deflect my embarrassment. You've always been passionate. You started coming here more once the, the weapons ban was lifted a few months ago, right? Yeah? As he said it as he said it was around then. He knew even though I hadn't spoken about it. I definitely intensified my training after the weapons had what weapons ban had was lifted. Because this hunk of metal which a trained police officer needed conviction to wield has been distributed to the untrained masses. The world has turned into a place where people would half jokingly draw out, draw guns at other people, just as those men had done earlier today. <laughs> When I remember Machida's words, the pistol felt heavier than ever. This was not something to be taken lightly. I'm sure that many of the citizens baffled by the government policy felt similarly. Some objected to the distri distribution of guns, but now some people will obviously use them, and not just for self-defense. I don't know what they were thinking when they decided to make civilians carry this burden. I have the conviction to shoot. I'm a cop. That's my responsibility. I'll fulfill my duty no matter what, but... <laughs> People who, people who haven't readied themselves now have the power to kill someone with a trigger pull. Yeah, I think that's where too. Who doesn't have the the fact that we could carry guns set us apart, we trained to defend the law and had guns to uphold it. I I see what you're saying. Even if the government says this is for self-defense, I think this is wrong. The people who ran the country run the country don't want to talk about what they've done here. I'm not in a position to protest it, but I can't approve of a world where people are suddenly made to wield a weapon. Words alone aren't enough. When the moments comes when the moment comes my skills need to prevent civilians from ever having to use their guns. Oh. Yeah, I won't lag behind you, although I don't think I'll be able to beat you now. You've always had a gift for marksmanship. Psyche strolled away with a bright laugh. As I watched him leave, he looked back at me with a vague smile. Nah, Hey, Hoshino, when criminal is right in front of you, you're, you're prepared to shoot to protect, right? Yeah. I could now res resolutely answer the question that he asked me before. 
That's good. I am growing. <laughs> I return Psyche's smile and settle into a firing stance with my gun. I pull the trigger without hesitation as if to demonstrate my turn, my determination. Conviction was carved into my heart. Did I miss? That would be sad. Alright, the 5th of December, 10 p.m. I'm out here at 10 p.m.? I left the station- wow, it kind of sounds pretty busy at 10 p.m. I left the station and walked to my home when a brisk wind made me shiver. <laughs> That's cold. Even through a muffler and a thick coat, the December chill stung my body. My breath excited my body- <laughs> excited- Exited my body as a tiny white cloud and he glanced at the nearby buildings. This place sure has changed. Shinjuku used to be a bustling- be bustling day and night. Nowadays it was mostly empty after nightfall. Much of society just stopped functioning once Shinjuku became quarantined. Shops, schools, and utilities continued to work to the government's satisfaction, but everything else was non-existent. So long as the criminals remained at large, there would always be an uneasiness here. It's hard to tell people to live their normal lives in this situation. You couldn't just visit friends anymore. You had to wait against being targeted. <laughs> so, again, I don't want to compare, but I'm not going to try to compare. Damn, this is like a story told in the future. Before the future even happened, which is today's present. People didn't know whether they or their loved ones would be the next victims, but they had to go on living somehow. It was hard to put into words just how much I missed life before the quarantine. I know I'm not the only one who has come to this realization. Hmm? Look at my cute phone! I hurriedly took my phone out, which was displaying Machida's name. That's a little thing! Is that our police mascot? Does he have a problem with my report? Wondering what I'd do if I was asked to return, I answer the call. Yes, this is Hushino. What? Sorry to call you back to work, but it's urgent. Sounds like there's trouble in Shinjuku Garden. Shinjuku Garden? Anyone hearing that name would be wary. The X Day incident in August, Shinjuku Garden was the scene of the crime and the epic epicenter, epicenter, epicenter of much public fear. It should be closed off to the public. Given the site, we can't rule out a connection to the X Day cases. Most of the officers from the police boxes are out on other business, so they've asked us to respond to the situation. Acknowledge, I'll head there right away. We don't know who or what you're, we're dealing with. Stand by until I get there, you hear me? I know, I won't act on my own. Unless someone's gonna bombard me, then I probably will. <laughs> Self-defense. I ended the call and hastily made my way over to Shinjuku Garden. When I arrive, I quickly scout the area and assess the situation. I'm kind of scared. Nobody's here? The air was dark and visibly was poor. Visibility was poor. It'd be tough for me to tell if anyone was laying on, lay, laying on ambush in there, just in case I drew my sidearm. I'd gotten into the habit of always carrying my weapon, and I had practiced often, but I had never actually used it in the field. So to be honest, I was nervous. Still, if I was confronted with someone who intended to take the lives of others, I would... I can't hesitate. While cautiously eyeing my surroundings, I approached the sealed gate to the Shinjuku Garden. Why isn't Machida here yet? It seemed like it was taking him an awfully long time to get to Shinjuku Garden. I wonder if he's gotten into some trouble. What? What's that? While I was debating whether to call him, I heard the sounds of footsteps approaching. Uh, is that Machida? <laughs> I don't think so, or else he'd be like, hey! I turned around. Did I get tased? I felt something push against my waist and the shot coursed through my body. Uh, I fucking got tased! Why do I have a taser? What the hell? What the? Oh god. Now I'm a. Uh. Uh. What did. Hostage. I opened my eyes and saw a flickering light. Who the hell? How am I in a church? That looks quite beautiful. Where am I? I tried to get up, but my body was numb and unresponsive. I couldn't move. What? What's going on? <sighs> I tried to move my head and at least get a sense of my surroundings. Something's there. I felt a strange press pressure around my neck. Oh, is this where I get the poisonous color? I wanted to check what it was, but I couldn't raise—I couldn't even raise my hands. No, why? 
It was as if my body was my own. Still, I gradually regained my, the use of my hands, and I timidly felt my neck. Is this a collar? I grew pale as I felt the metallic coldness. Wait, I want to take a picture of this collar. Thanks. Oh, it's the title of the game! <laughs> the collar! What is this? What's it, wh what's it doing on me? And what am I doing here? Looking around, I saw that the floor around me was covered with what looked like red flowers. There's a cat in that color in the middle, the pendant. Flowers scarlet like blood. It's like seven scarlet again. <laughs> what the flowers? Looking up, I could see the moonlight cascading through the stained glass. Am I in a church? My body was paralyzed for reasons unknown. I was wearing an unfamiliar color. Yet the eph ephemeral... Ephem that's a word I've never seen. Beauty of the stained glass dominated my attention for the moment. Where have I seen the stained glass? Uh, hello? <laughs> you appear to finally be awake, Miss Hoshino. The voice was close. It was from the caller. What? That is creepy. I'm sure you're surprised to suddenly find yourself here. I very much wanted to speak to you in private, so I arranged to have you collected in this manner. What if it was a fake call to Machida to come to here, and then, like, I got fucked up? Who are you? Did you put this color on me? Why did you... I wonder whoever this person is, is like a secret character that you can unlock. Can I cannot give you the answer to those questions at this time. Regardless, you will eventually arrive at our humble abode. Is this church moving? <laughs> what do you mean? You have been chosen as a test subject. Henceforth, we will be closely monitoring your actions until X day. Is there a camera in here? You're gonna see me Nikki as I shower and everything? When you execute your own form of justice, I promise we'll meet, not like this, but in person. I'm pretty sure I can't take this collar off. It better not leave like a, like, a mark around my neck. That would suck. What is your goal? What experiment? What have you done to me? Quiet now, or else you'll die, you know. The collar currently around your neck contains a lethal poison. Poison? The dose currently in your bloodstream has a delayed effect, and it's not a lethal dose. It would be a problem if you died here. They say their goal isn't to kill me, that's why I'm in this paralyzed state. I have no idea what they're up to, everything I learned only made me more tense. Still, as a police officer, I couldn't just sit quietly and take this. After all, the voice coming from the caller mentioned something about X Day. I have to investigate further. I need to at least get some useful information so I can report it. No. Oh, please do not speak of this to the police. We like to avoid taking drastic measures. And surely you'd feel quite lonely if you were to lose those dear to you, right? I don't know how much this criminal knows about me. But if they're going to threaten the people close to me, I, I won't forgive you. I'll never forgive you for this, whoever the fuck you are. <laughs> we hope that you are being truthful, but we have no interest in self-righteousness. What we seek are noble intentions. Uh, they say that this collar is poisonous. There's a speaker somewhere, obviously, for him to talk and hear me. But is there a camera for them to see where I am at all times? Mm -hmm. 
Roads full of malice and vague laws, but ideals are clear, formless justice. While learning the truth change your struggle, will you lead the rebirth with us? We'll look forward to learning the answer in the next episode, because we're saving for today. <laughs> Dude, I'm kind of freaked out. Like That color seems very... scary? Because it can poison her? At any second, she fucks up or says something super, like, super, super wrong, saying, hey, they're tracking me in an instant death. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today's episode. Stay beautiful, and I'll see you guys in the next one.